All right, lots to talk about when we're discussing layers of the Earth. We'll start right off with the inner core. And the inner core would be, of course, right here. And the inner core is a solid. And it's easy to remember what parts are solid. It's the very inside, right in here, and then the very outside, which is the crust. All right, uh, the inner core is a solid and it is solid nickel and iron. I think it's mostly iron. I'm not sure. So solid nickel and iron, and um, it's like crazy, crazy hot. Somewhere along the lines of 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit hot, um, depending on the source that you read. Um, they say that it is as hot as the surface of the sun, so insanely hot. And then moving outward, it gets a little bit cooler. When you get to the outer core, maybe a thousand degrees cooler, something like that. And the outer core is a liquid, and but it's made of the same stuff: uh, liquid iron and nickel. And the thing to remember about the outer core is that because it's a liquid, it has a circulation kind of moves and that circulation that goes around the inner core creates something called Earth's magnetic field and we know that um, we have compasses and the compass always points to the north and that's because a compass is or functions because of magnetism and earth has these magnetic field lines just like a regular magnet does and earth itself is a large magnet okay and it protects us from you know some different different hazards from the sun and we'll talk about that in another video all right so that's the inner core solid very hot outer core liquid and it rotates and it creates Earth's magnetic field. All right, moving onward. Okay, the next part, a lot to talk about, is the mantle. Oops. Got to be able to spell it. All right, is the mantle. And we said that it's you know super hot here, very hot here, and it gets cooler as you go out to the edges. And so in the mantle, one of the important things that we need to remember is that it has these things, it has the circulation, it has convection currents where the hot material rises, the cool material will sink. And so underneath the crust, this mantle is moving. All right, so it's not quite a liquid, not quite a solid, um, but we do know a little bit about the mantle because it'll shoot out through volcanoes some of its material in the form of magma okay so you know melted rock molten rock and there's a couple important parts to the mantle um, one is the lithosphere lithosphere and that's going to be right under the crust so I'm going to just draw a lithosphere here and I'm going to draw a crust We'll make it red, because that is what is in my picture. This is the crust. And there's the lithosphere. And these two pieces are kind of connected together. And then we get another layer underneath it called the asthenosphere. Okay, so imagine way out on the outer core, or I'm sorry, way out in the outer part of the mantle, we have the asthenosphere, and then we have this lithosphere right above it. And like I said, the lithosphere and the crust kind of work hand in hand, and then we get underneath it a layer called the asthenosphere. All right. And if you recall, when we were first talking about the mantle, we have these things, 
these arrows and we have this motion of convection currents that flow and what happens here is that it makes the lithosphere and the crust move in different directions okay and our, our crust moves a little bit and we have earthquakes and things like that and that's going to float and kind of move above the asthenosphere here asthenosphere whatever okay so it's going to kind of move back and forth above and kind of float on top of the asthenosphere which they say is kind of plastic like material so the mantle not quite solid not quite liquid and then we finally have our crust All right, and our crust, um, one of the important things to know about our crust is it's kind of like the, the shell of an egg. It's really thin, and just like the shell of an egg, it has, well, our egg, it has cracks in it, and it has, you know, different sections. It's broken up into sections called plates, and these plates move, and so we call them tectonic plates. All right. And these tectonic plates will move into each other, they'll move away from each other, um, they'll move side by side each other, and again, the movement of the plates is caused because of the movement of the convection currents of the mantle. All right. And there are two main types of plates. The plate under the ocean is called oceanic plates, and the plate um, that makes our continents, of course, is called the continental plates. Right? Uh, the ocean plates are going to be thinner. Let's see, let's draw an ocean here. There's my ocean. And then here's our ocean plate. Alright, let's say, let's call this the oceanic plate right there. And the oceanic plate is going to be thin and very dense. Right here is our continental plate and this is going to be thick and not quite as dense. So if we have a plate crashing into each other, we have the ocean plate crashing into the continental plate because the oceanic plate is more dense, it is going to sink and go underneath the continental plate. And um, I have some videos that explain the different parts, uh, the different movements of, of the plates. So um, to review, we have the crust um, broken up into pl different plates. We have the mantle, which has the lithosphere, the asthenosphere, um, and we have all of this movement inside of the mantle that is, I should have wrote this down, um, causes convection currents and that causes the crust to move and then finally we have our inner core and the outer core the outer core creates earth's magnetic field is liquid the inner core is solid and is super 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 hot all right i know it was long hope you're still awake